let's have a look at some advanced query capabilities. First, what if with the filters that we want to specify, so what if the uh, conditions that we want to establish on the data being returned are not so simple as simply uh, equalities. It's not that I want title equals contact, like it's just that I want something more complex than that. Maybe I want all the books in a specific category, which price is below some specific threshold. Okay. In order to do that, in order to allow for that in a GraphQL service, we had to modify the GraphQL schema that is being returned. We have to add some synthetic artifacts. Okay. In this case, for complex filters, we have to add for each of the operations, like for example books, an argument called underscore filter. This underscore filter is specified using an input called filter input. No, this is not a type. This is an input. It's meant to be an argument, this, the, the structure of an argument. And this filter input allows us to specify single expressions or complex expressions by means of AND, NOT, and OR. And for each expression, it will relate one field with one value using one specific operator, like equals, greater than, greater than or equal, less than, etc., etc., etc. So by adding this to the schema, that is something that we could see in GraphQL Playground a moment ago, we'll go back to that, we can perform requests like this. Okay, so now I can say that I want the books, but with a specific filter, this filter is an AND, and this AND will be applying to two objects, in this case it's two expressions, that are, I want its price to be greater than 100 euros, and I want its title to be ending in accounting, and so I will receive this. Okay, and for this, by the way, I only want their title and the category. Let's try it live here. This is the query. And this is the result. Okay, so it's understanding this filter because we have declared it here. For books, we have a filter here, which is a filter input, and filter input is defined somewhere in the schema. It's ordered alphabetically, so it's here. Again, instead of uh, complex queries, in this case, we want aggregations. How can we perform aggregations on our data using this GraphQL interface? In this case, we added two things. One is a new argument to each operation called underscore group by, which will allow us to specify as if it were the group by the group by clause of an SQL query. Okay, these are the fields by which I want to group by. This is an array, and then in each of these GraphQL types, we added an additional argument, an additional field called aggregation, underscore aggregation. And this aggregation will allow us to specify specifically which aggregation function we want to execute on which field. So if we have a look at what requests look like thanks to this, I can now call books, the books operation. I can specify that I want to group by by category and along with category, the category name, I want to be returned also the count of books in each category. This I do this by navigating to the aggregation GraphQL type, which we have uh, created in the schema, and I'm applying an alias here, this is an alias, this means that whatever comes out of this aggregation, I don't want it to, to be called underscore aggregation, I want it to be called total, okay, so that's why I have a total here. So for this one, I have a total of 27. For this category, I have a total of 13, etc. Again, let's put this into GraphQL Playground. There it is. There we are. All the aggregations being performed. Another possible thing, another advanced capability, sorting. What if I want to specify how my data should be sorted in the response? Okay, what we did was to add to the GraphQL schema Another argument called underscore or divide, which uh, was defined by the sort input input. This is, and which is an array and allows me to specify basically the same as in an order by clause in an SQL query. Okay, what ordering I want by which fields and whether it is ascending or descending. So my queries will look similar to this now. Okay, so I have a query. This query is books in this case. I'm using the underscore order by argument and I'm specifying that I want my books to be ordered 
in descending order by price. And for all these books, I want the title and I want the price. Okay, this is what we would have. Again, we can just get the query into the playground and verify that this works. There it is. Okay, I have all the books with their corresponding prices ordered descending by their price. One more thing, pagination. Well, the, the GraphQL the, the GraphQL uh, specification does not specify one single way of performing pagination. It basically leaves the it leaves pagination to the implementation. Okay, there are many ways of performing pagination in, in GraphQL APIs. We have chosen a very simple one. Basically, what we do is we add to each of our operations both uh, underscore first and an underscore offset argument that allows us to tell the service that we want so many return results, this is first, starting from some specific position, that's the offset. Okay, so if we want to see this working, it would look like this. I'm going to query books, books is the operation that I'm calling, I want the first three results starting from position 35 in the results. So I'm receiving exactly three, and for each of those I only want the title and the price. Go to GraphQL Playground, and this is what we have. Okay, on human nature, contact on the black site.